you've watched Minecraft content before, you might have heard of the creator named Grian. Grian has been making YouTube videos since 2014 and has created such hit series as Third Life and Build Swap. And if you watch any of his videos in the last few years, you probably recognize this skin. This is Grian's standard skin, with a red jumper and some simple pants. The hair has a signature waffle on the back. Grian wears the skin in about 90% of his videos, but this isn't the only skin he's rocked. Today we're going to go through years of Grian's content and examine over 130 skins that he's used since he launched his YouTube account. Together we'll examine some strange phases, some fun phases, and more. Now, we have a lot of skins to get to, so let's get started. Using a tool called NameMC, we can look back at all the Minecraft skins associated with an account. If you make an account on this website, you can claim your own Minecraft profile and hide skins you don't want to be shown to the public. When we're on Green's profile, there's an option that says, Are you Green? Claim this profile, which does not show an account that have been claimed, like mine. So based on this, we can confirm that all skins on this account have been used by the authentic Green account and never altered. We're going to go from the oldest skins to the newest. This site is a bit weird, however, if you switch your skins back and forth. So if I wore a skin five years ago and then put it on today, it would show up as recently used today, not as the first time it was used. There's also one or two skins that I will mention in this video that seem to be too old for this website or something happened where it was not recorded on the website, but I will discuss those. For each skin, I'm going to be describing what it looks like and what video it is for, as well as any other information I might have about it. For some skins, this information might not be known or might not be totally clear. I will be doing my due diligence to find out info for each skin, but if I make any mistakes, I'm asking for forgiveness in advance. There are also a few skins I sadly failed to find any information about, which could be due to a few reasons. It's possible Grian made and used these skins for content that has since been deleted or lost, such as live streams, or it could have just been a test on Grian's part. I'll be mentioning each of these unknown skins and describing them, and if you know anything more about them, please let me know in the comments down below. For our skins, we basically have two eras, before Hermitcraft and after Hermitcraft. For our before Hermitcraft period, the documentation on skins and Grian content is not nearly as strong. As many creators will do, some of this content from early days at Grian's channel is no longer public or is buried under years of other content. Grian was also a fan of making content on other channels and that was harder for me to track down. With Hermitcraft, creators are constantly streaming and it becomes much easier for fans to keep track of what Grian is wearing for a Skins. So let's go ahead and start off in the pre-Hermitcraft period strong with Grian skins from Yandir High School. Now you might be saying, what is Yandir High School? Yandir High School, also sometimes called YHS, is a role play series that Grian guest starred in. Grian also starred in Tokyo Soul, which is a direct continuation of Yandir High School. Grian never made any content about this on his own channel. This was always on somebody else's channel. These creators were Tartus or Sam Gladiator. In episode 45 through 50 of Yandir High School, Grian wears a white tank top and red swim shorts. Grian's rocking his signature waffle and has tan skin. In episodes 51 through 57, Grian wears Tardis's clothes at Sam's demand. I kind of miss this. So it feels so weird, right? It feels so awkward that Tortoise is in here, okay? Yeah. Do you think that you could um, dress up as Tortoise for me? Um... I got his clothes right here. You can maybe just like put this on. And then... well, I don't know. I've been wearing these clothes for years, man. Yeah. But if you could wear that for me, <laughs> it just it would just feel less awkward. I think it would just feel less awkward for me if I had my my buddy Tortoise here. There you go. Now you look just like Tortoise for me. That looks fantastic. I am so uncomfortable with this. As stated before, this is Tortoise's default skin. So it's a blue shirt with suspenders and some armbands. It also looks like Grian is rocking some sneakers. In episodes 58 through 61, Grian wears a full red suit, a white collared shirt underneath, and a green tie. This suit also makes a reappearance in Hermitcraft, which we'll discuss later. In some parts of episodes 64 through 67, Grian wears a mustache and is known as Mr. Wizard and Charles to Tardis and Sam, and the two do not recognize him. This is just the previous skin with a mustache on it. In episodes 68 through 74, Green wears a cop outfit. This is your standard kind of cop outfit. It has a little badge and it is largely blue. And this one is not on name MC. In episodes 75 through 80, Green wears a Yakuza Karu's bloodied and torn clothes. And for some reason, this outfit is not on name MC. Now we have some skins that Grian used throughout this period in the Yandir High School and Tokyo Soul series. So we have Grian in his Tokyo Soul uniform, which is a blue jacket with a yellow and black embroidery with black pants. 
We have this same outfit, but with a mustache on it. We have Grian in a teacher outfit, which is a brown jacket and black pants and teal shoes. And important to note, Grian is also blushing. In episode 30 of Tokyo Soul, Grian wears this SWAT team outfit. It's a black outfit, fully black with his normal head. Tokyo Soul had a special event, which was a cosplay event. Grian participated in this two-piece set with a green top, a red bow on his hair, and cargo pants. And I'm pretty sure this is a teacher outfit that was used in Tokyo Soul, but I'm not too sure. And those are our outfits from the Andir High School and Tokyo Soul series. So now moving on, we have some of Grian's single content that he did on his own on his channel during this time. And starting off strong, we have Robot Grian Plays Build Battle. So this is Grian's robot skin. It's pretty much exactly what it says. And this skin is the classic Grian outfit, but with gray skin and black hair and red eyes. For the Minecraft Build Swap Halloween Edition in 2016, Grian is wearing a snowman suit. This is Grian's classic head with a snowman hat and a cute little outfit. Grian also had a custom suit for another roleplay SMP he did, which was called Kingdom of Valor, and it was also created by Sam Gladiator. I'm trying to think of how to describe Grian's outfit in this one, it looks to be some sort of snowsuit. It's red, his face is peeking out, and the rest is completely the suit. In 2016, Grian made a video about six funny skin tricks in Minecraft, and this is the origin of a few skins that will come up later in the video. So these skins are the upside down skin, the chest skin, or as Grian calls it, the delivery man skin, second layer skin, which has Grian putting all of his clothes on the second layer and then showing his boxers, hunchback Grian, and backwards Grian. If you're familiar with Grian's content, you might know about Evo or Evolution SMP, which is a series Grian and started back in 2017. The concept is this group of creators progress throughout the different series of Minecraft and Green rocks his original skin, which is a Link skin. And this skin is not on his name MC, I'm guessing because it was so old, but not too sure on this. This skin was also used in the Crafted Movie series. And now we have three unknown skins from this time period that I'm not too sure what they're from. We have Ikea Green in a classic yellow and blue shirt. We have Demon Green or something is happening here. He has red skin and red pants and his classic waffle hair and red eyes. I have no idea what's going on here. We also have Cardigan Green. He's wearing like a red sweater type thing. A version of the suit will come up later in a Hermitcraft series, but this version, I'm not too sure where it originated and it was from this time period. So those are all of our skins from before Hermitcraft started and now we can jump into Hermitcraft season six. Hermitcraft season 6 started in 2018 and fun fact was the season that got me into Hermitcraft. Green started the series in his original red sweater and black pants. In episode 4, Green re-wears a Yandere High School skin for his door-to-door -door salesman act. This is that red suit I was talking about. Episode 10 has Green rocking the guinea pig Green suit. This is an orange, black, and white guinea pig suit that covers Green's almost entire body except for a bit of his head poking out. We also have the first but not last appearance of Grian blushing skin. This appeared briefly in episode 17, but it also appears later in season 7. The skin was originally used in Yandere High School when Grian plays a child. Episode 20 has Grian rocking the Halloween hair Grian skin, which is his normal skin, except instead of a waffle on the back of his head, we have a scary pumpkin. Episode 21 has Grian in a phantom costume. Not much more to say about that. And episode 23 has Grian with Mumbo's mustache on. Unsurprisingly, this is not the last time you will see Grian with this mustache on. Episode 24 of season 6 has Grian as an executioner. Side note, if you have not seen this episode, it is a good one. It's a very good one. Tango, listen to me. This <laughs> is the afterlife. You can have whatever you want. I would like eyesight, please. <laughs> you can't have that. This is a sort of circus... Hold on, what are they called? I'm googling circus person in charge. Ringmaster. I totally didn't just have to look up the word for ringmaster. This has Grian in a ringmaster outfit with a fancy little jacket and a yellow shirt on. Episode 26 brings us one of my favorite skins with Posh Grian. Perhaps also called Scottish Grian. This has Grian in a kilt with a nice little blue vest and a tiny little hat on top of his head. Next up, we have Poultry Man, which is not technically a skin, but just Grian using a chicken head, but it's getting an honorable mention because it is similar enough to a skin. 
This was used in episode 31. Episode 32 brings us Librarian Grian, which is Grian in his red sweater and normal outfit, but with a blue vest on top and tiny little glasses. Reading glasses, if you will. Episode 33 brings us Christmas Grian, which is the skin Grian wears a lot during the holidays. He started it with Build Battle, but he wore it in season six. And this is a red sweater with some patterning, a green scarf and earmuffs. Episode 35 has Grian dressing up as Mumbo, but I cannot find this skin on name MC. I cannot look at this skin without giggling. Episode 40 and also 98 has Grian as disguised poultry man. This is Grian in his normal outfit, but covered up by a trench coat, so you can't recognize him, of course. It has a chicken head and a hat on top. This is definitely an iconic Grian skin. Episode 44 has Grian ready for war. I believe this skin was originally used in Yandere High School, but I'm not too sure. This has Grian in a brown suit with a red beret on top. Episode 48 has Grian ready to infiltrate the enemy. This is a dark suit that looks like it's camo, maybe. It has a mask on it and green shading around the eyes as well as a black hat. Episode 54 is a mega episode with multiple Sahara outfits. We have Grian rocking the red suit again, as well as two other skins. The first one is Grian in a brown jacket with a big red bow tie, as well as Grian in a purplish indigo dark blue suit with a blue scarf, maybe? Grian also has some confusing eyebrows on this skin. We never see Grian with eyebrows, but he's raising one in this. Episode 59 brings us Hermit News Grian which is Grian in a red sweater with black glasses. This is also one of the first appearances of the Ariana Grande skin. This skin is notorious in the community and Grian has not worn it in years because of how weird people are about it. Ariana Grande is wearing a pink two-piece set with heels, which is kind of fun, and little bows? hair ties maybe on the top of her head. This Hermit News segment also has two other skins that do not make it onto Name MC. One is Grian with a plain red suit and black round glasses. And the other is another news reporter Grian. This one has a white shirt and the same black rimmed glasses. Episode 64 brings us not technically a skin, but a retexture of a villager that is Grian, but I'm counting it. So this is Villager Grian. In the same episode as Villager Grian, we get Scientist Grian. This is a Grian skin with a white lab coat and blue accents, and he is the scientist taking care of these villagers. Episode 71 brings us CEO Grian. This is Grian in a Bill Gates-esque outfit with Grian in a black sweater and some low-rimmed glasses. Episode 74 has Grian in Mumbo's outfit. We also have Grian actually wearing Mumbo's skin. This is likely for the thumbnail of episode 76. Episode 84 brings us the first edition of Hippie Grian. This is Grian in his normal outfit with some sandals, a rainbow necklace, and some flowers in his hair. He also wore this outfit in this B video later. Episode 93 brings us Demise Grian. This is Grian without any color, so he is completely gray, but it is otherwise his normal skin. Episode 105 brings us Grianch. The Grian, Grianich, Grian, 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 you say it. False symmetry had stalked the secret Santa sleigh when a Grianch logged in and sent everything astray. So this is like the Grinch stole Christmas type bit that Grian did. It sure is something. Episode 106 brings us two different versions of oversaturated Grian. This is Grian when he comes back to life from the demise game. He is a little too saturated with really yellow hair. First version is just Grian, normally, but oversaturated, and the second is oversaturated Grian with Mumbo's mustache. Episode 108 has Grian using a skin switcheroo type situation, and we get to see some of those switched up skins I talked about earlier. So we get Hunchback Grian, Sideways Grian, and a few more. And that brings us to the end of Season 6. Now, there are a handful of skins Grian wore during Season 6 that were not in his videos, so let me know if you know where the following unknown skins are from. We have Old Man Grian, which is Grian with gray hair and a beard. We have Toga Grian, which is Grian with his normal head and an orange toga. We have Zombie Scar. We have Blue Grian, which is Grian in completely blue tones, blue sweater, blue skin. We have possibly Windcraft Grian. I'm not too sure if this is Windcraft Grian or used for something else. 
And we have Suit Green, which is green in a black suit. Season 6 was an exceptionally long season and had lots of different skins from Green, but Season 7 also had a few different skins, so let's discuss them now. Episode 25 brings us the Mumbo for Mayor skin, which is Green in a white shirt with the Mumbo for Mayor kind of logo on it and the Mumbo mustache. We have a series of five different skins here, which are the button green skins. Green used this when the button was really big. They are to designate what level of the button he's on. It's his normal skin, just with like a cuff on the wrist to designate what button color he has. There's also one of them with a mustache. Season 7 episode 44 has Green having a breakdown and we get blue sweater Green. This is Green in his normal fit, but the sweater is blue. Episode 48 had Grian rocking the B-dubs face. We have B-dubs big eyes and big smile. Episode 59 has an MCC skin making an appearance. We'll talk about MCC shortly. And this is a purple Christmas sweater with a snowman on it. Grian wears a referee skin for the Hermit Wrestling Federation Arena, which is a real thing that happened in Hermitcraft. This is your standard Grian skin, just in a little referee outfit. All right, we're about to get ready to rumble. Oh, I missed wow. the bell. <laughs> Next up, we have a combination of skins from a very iconic clip from Good Times with Scar's stream. In this stream, Scar was decorating his area and needed heads for different armor stands. Grian was killed several times for his head before he started changing skins so Scar could get different types of heads. Green starts off with four skins we have seen before, which are B-dubs Green, Christmas Green, Mustache Green, and Ariana Grande. Then Green brings out Weird Eyes Green, which is Green with slightly squinted sideways eyes. Space Green, which is Green in a spacesuit. Blushing Green makes another appearance. We have Hunched Green. This is Green with the head rotated so that when he hunches over, his skin gives a very strange look. Scar did not enjoy this. Nope. Nope. No. <laughs> that one, I, I, I've seen that one before. That one is just too much. We have Duck Woman, which is an NPC of stress first seen in Green's episode 99 of season six. We have Golf Green again. Supermarket Green, which is Green in a gray sweater, a red vest, and brown pants as sort of a supermarket clerk. We have Fantasy Green, which is Green in a very, very cool pink and gold outfit. Chest Green, which is a shortened version of Green holding up a chest on his head. We have Hippie Green again, Princess Leia Green, which is Green in a Princess Leia outfit. And we have Scarecrow Green. In the SOS Africa stream, which was a charity stream, Green went bald in game when they reached $75,000 raised. Just like season six, there are skins used during this time that were not in any videos I could find. So if you know anything more about these skins, let me know in the comments below. We have Pink Apron Green and Iskal. Yes, Green wore both these skins. Hobbit Green, which I'm guessing is maybe something he planned on using in the beginning of the season. Rogue Green, which is Green in a black roguelike outfit with orange eyes. Janitor Green, which is Green in a blue suit. This one's a bit weird. This is a Mumbo for Mayor shirt with Scar wearing a mustache in part of his mayoral outfit. We have Big Eye Green, which is the big eyes of B-dubs without the mouth. We have purple shirt green, which I'm guessing was for the button. We have demon green. I don't even know if I could call this green or just a skin. This was first used by Ren the Dog, so it might have been used in collaboration with him. We have soulless eyes green, which are green with these big black eyes. We have usher green, which is green in an usher outfit with a little red sweater. And we have green as B-dubs, which was likely for a thumbnail. Now we are going to pause from Hermitcraft for a brief intermission for MCC, also known as Minecraft Championships. Green has participated in quite a few MCCs throughout the years and changes his skin to match the team color and event. While most of Green's skins are made by him, these skins are often made by fans. If possible, I will be adding the original creator's tags of these skins for Twitter since they don't get nearly enough credit for the hard work they do. For MCC6, we have Green in his standard suit with a cyan headband and cyan armbands for his cyan creepers team. MCC7 had a very similar skin for aqua axolotls. This was Green in his standard suit with an aqua headband and aqua armbands. MCC9 Pink Parrots had Green in a white shirt with a pink vest with a P on it with pink wings on the back. 
MCC 11 was a Halloween event, the Lime Leeches. Leeches, I don't know how to say it. This had Grian in a Lime shirt and the B-dubs face on. MCC 12 had Grian on the Aqua Axolotls and fittingly he was in an Axolotl type suit. MCC 14 had Grian on purple pandas and in this he worked a dojo type outfit that was all purple with a purple panda on the back. Grian participated in MCC Pride 21 on the pink parrots team and he wore a pink little sweater and a pink headband. MCC 15 had Grian on orange ocelots and he wore a really cute orange sweater and a little headband type thing. It's very cute. MCC 16 had Grian on purple pandas. This has Grian in a purple outfit and this is the first time we'll be seeing the purple ribbon. This was a ribbon that many creators started adding in support of Technoblade who announced he was diagnosed with cancer around this time. For MCC 17, Green was in an all orange outfit with orange little ears, and he also was rocking the purple ribbon. This is the MCC that Green actually won. MCC 18 had Green on green goblins, and since this was a Halloween event, he wasn't in his team colors, but instead a funky little pirate outfit. He also switched skins partly through this, and then was in a suit with a purple ribbon on it as well, and a mumbo mustache. For MCC All-Stars, Green was on green geckos. He wore a green outfit with suspenders, a purple ribbon, and a flower in his hair. For MCC 19, Green was on Gingerbread Man, and he wore a really cute Gingerbread Man inspired outfit. I really like this one, but I will say this is the only green skin where his hair is not the right color, but it's ginger themed, so. MCC 21 had Green on Lime Llamas, and this was a really cute skin with a green vest and little goggles. MCC 22 had Green on Aqua Axolotls, and he was wearing a summer themed blue shirt with pink flowers on it and pink shoes. In MCC Pride 22, Green was on Yellow Yaks, and he wore a yellow shirt that was half solid, half striped, and half had yellow flowers on it. In MCC 25, Green was on pink parrots and he wore an artist themed skin. Also one of the few times Green has long hair, he's got a little ponytail. MCC 26 had Green in a Wilbur skin with a purple ribbon. MCC Scuffed had Green on pink parrots and he was in the sideways skin again. MCC Pride 23 had Green on red rabbits and he wore this red-ish, pink-ish sweater with a rainbow on it and blue accents and a cute little flower crown. And finally, MCC Party, which is the most recent MCC Green participated on. He was in green geckos and he wore this green space-ish suit with green goggles. Now that we've covered season six, seven, and MCC, we are moving on to season 8. Green didn't rock that many outfits in season 8, but it was a particularly short season. Episode 7 had Green rocking the monocle skin. This is Green in his normal outfit, but with a monocle. Now we have an outfit that wasn't in season 8 itself, but took place during this time period, and that is Squid Games Green. Green didn't make any videos for this event, but you can see him in the background or talking to people who did make content for it. Episode 26 and beyond had Green in his Mooner skin. There's two different versions of this. One is more tired than the other. This is when Green was staying up all night to worship the moon. And finally, we have episode 27, the finale, which is Green's Bodum rocket outfit. So all of Bodum had matching outfits, and this is Green in a space suit with a G on the back and a red helmet. In between seasons 8 and 9, we have the 100 Hours SMP. Green wears his default outfit for this series but at one point he does spoiler alert die and he comes back as Grion. Grion is Grian but with a mustache. With season 8 out of the way we are jumping right into season 9. During Secret Fools Grian wore a skin that I have actually mentioned before. This is an edited version of the skin with black soulless eyes and sometimes it's called the Matrix skin I guess. He wore this during his prank on Impulse. For the Zuma surprise party that was hosted, we have Strider Grian, and it is Grian in a red Strider outfit that's themed after Azuma's Doom Guy skin. Episode 20 has Grian in a trainer skin when he was going to have Gem fight a frog. He has a little hat and a scarf. Good Times a Scar hosted a huge charity stream for gamers outreach and we got to see Grian in the hunch skin again during this event. During episode 28 we get Christmas Grian in a third life sweater. This is based off a real life sweater Grian was selling at the time which had the, the signature green, yellow, and red hearts and it was themed around the third life desert and Christmas. 
While visiting empires, Graham participated in a Halloween surprise party for Solidarity Gaming, and he wore a Buzz Lightyear skin. So this is Graham with his head on, but a Buzz Lightyear skin. Episode 46 brought us Buttercup Grian. This is when Grian was with Mumbo and Scar in the Buttercup War, and he was wearing a hippie-themed tie-dye shirt with a rainbow headband. This also has long hair, Grian. He's rocking a very long ponytail. While not in Season 9 or even on Grian's account, I wanted to mention the Beating Minecraft with a Shared Account video, which had the Sydney for My Feet skin. This is a combination of Grian and Joel, just straight up down the middle that Grian used with Joel when they were beating Minecraft together. We have three skins in season nine that I don't know where they came from, so if you do know, leave them in the comments below. We have backwards Grian. This is Grian in his normal skin, but his head is backwards. We have button Grian. Grian rocked the button skin again for some reason. And we have soulless eyes Grian, which is just Grian in his normal skin, but with the soulless eyes. Now we're going to take a brief intermission for the Life Series. If you haven't heard of the Life Series, these are multi-week short SMPs that are a modified hardcore world. Players are given a certain number of lives that are color coordinated, with green being the most lives, yellow in the middle, and red is the one before you are out of the series. A lot of creators in this series will have custom skins for each life color, so they have a green skin, and a yellow skin, and a red skin. While Green is the creator, he's notorious for not changing his skin based on what life he's on, but we do have a few exceptions which I will cover here. The first time Green changed his skin for this series was in the fourth series called Limited Life. Green was in a group called The Bad Boys, which was him, Joel, and Jimmy, and he wore a bad boy skin, which was like a leather jacket, dark jacket, and sunglasses. And then we have the grieving bad boy Grian. This is Grian in a dark suit with the same sunglasses. And this is for when they were grieving Judge Judy and Executioner, as well as uh, Jimmy. Rest in peace, Jimmy. And that brings us to season 10, which is the current Hermitcraft season, which actually just started in February of 2024. Episode 4 brought us Tired Grian, which was a modified version of season 8's Mooner's Grian. This is Grian in his normal outfit, but with some tired eyes. Episode 4 also brought us Fisherman Grian. Grian has been on a big fishing kick this season, and he's rocking an outfit for it. This is Grian in a red sweater and some brown trousers, as well as some overalls. He's also rocking a fantastic mustache and a little hat. And that is all of our skins so far for Season 10. If you want to see an updated version of this when Season 10 is over, let me know and I'd be happy to do that. I'm hoping we get lots more of Grian changing his skin this season. Now, before we finish, we have some honorable mentions. I have some skins I'm pretty sure were for thumbnails. We have Dungeon Tango skin. We have Grian and Mumbo skin. We have B-Dubs Grian. We have Too Much Grian Mumbo. Too Much Grian Jevin. Too Much Grian Hot Guy. And Too Much Grian Corrales. All the other skins on Grian's second account, Too Much Grian, are pretty much skins we've already discussed. And with that, we have covered nearly a decade of Grian skins. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite Grian skin and what are you looking forward to him wearing in Season 10. Let me know if you're interested in seeing this idea for any other Hermits or Minecraft creators. And don't forget to like and subscribe to catch the next video.